Okay, here we are looking down the way we came up, right over the edge of this thing. And I should have been over further toward those cliffs and, and um, hopefully it would have been more gradual, but um, I don't want to see another cliff today. So I'm heading down the western side of Mummy Mountain. Here we are um, at the uh, western summit of Mummy Mountain. And you can see the, you know, the Las Vegas Valley down there. Um, there's the strip. Here's La Madre Mountain. Mount Charleston Observatory. Sheep Range. Fossil Ridge area between Sheep Range and Gas Peak. And then um, that little peak there, that's Gas Peak. We're about at 11,500 feet at this point. And then to the, the right of Gas Peak is the Las Vegas Valley. And you can see the, the valley stretching out there. So yeah, I do not want to see another cliff today. So I'm heading down the familiar, nice, um, gentler western summit and then circle around um, from the western approach. Um, definitely avalanche slopes down there. No hiking poles, so that should be really special on those avalanche slopes, but I just don't want to hit the cliffs anymore today. Um, and I'll circle around um, to Rain Tree and then back down to where I started. So we'll we'll time that and hopefully I can do it in um, around three hours. Um, it's going to be a quite a quite an experience. Okay, so um, beautiful area, and here we are up on the summit of Mummy Mountain, and we'll head over to the eastern summit and get a view of that also, but it's a pretty easy walk to get there. Okay, here we are on the beautiful summit of Mummy Mountain, and uh, we're um, heading from the western summit to the eastern summit. The eastern summit is the true summit, and there it is. We're going to head over there and stand on that summit for just a moment, look around. But here you see emerging um, Mount Charleston, or Charleston Peak, and then the south ridge of Kyle Canyon, and then the tip of Griffith Peak. And by the way, let's go back to Charleston Peak. There it is. And down in this direction, you have Lee Peak. And you see this ridge. This ridge coming down from Lee Peak, right along this area. That ridge is the north ridge of Kyle Canyon. And that's the cutoff ridge we're going to take from Lee Peak up to Mummy Mountain. And uh, we'll just head along that ridge 
below Lee Peak all the way down to the base of the ridge so um, there there you are the Lee Peak and the ridge um, beneath it it's a wilderness section and then we head up this ridge it's kind of a continuation of the ridge and up to the summit of Mummy Mountain and at that point we would have achieved um, five summits um, and if I do this next week um, the chances are I will not be heading down the eastern side of Mummy Mountain but on the other hand I will be um, I'll be circling around to uh, you know, the other way on the North Loop Trail to Fletcher Peak as the final peak. So that's you know, a little bit more uphill than I like to do at that point, but um, I just don't trust these cliffs, especially um, in the physical condition I'll be after having summited five peaks. So um, yeah, yeah, it's going to be a little longer, but um, time-wise, it'll be a little shorter distance, a little longer, a little more elevation gain than I would like. Um, but, you know, got to do it. I, I just don't trust the... Um, I don't trust the cliffs on the east side for descending. You take a wrong turn there and and it's just too problematic. So um, anyway, continuing on now over to the true summit of Mummy Mountain. Okay, here we are, the final victory walkway to the summit of Mummy Mountain. This is the Eastern True Summit. And here we are. Ah. And there's the summit box. I've never actually signed that. But I figure the videos will show that we've made it to the summit. I've, I have to have made this summit something like 10 or 15 times. And this is my favorite summit in the Spring Mountains just because it is so huge and as you look at it, you know, come up here sometime. Take the western route if you haven't come up the Mummy Mountain before. Don't try one of those eastern routes. They can get pretty dicey. But take the western route, western summit approach to Mummy Mountain. You can see it on LasVegasAreaTrails.com where I describe it. You'll see us going down that route today. But anyway, ascend to the summit and then just walk along the summit. I mean, this is like the distance of a couple of football fields. Uh, there's the western summit where we um, summited Mummy I mean, Mountain uh, from the eastern cliff. Um, so, anyway, yeah, walk, spend, um, plan to spend a little time on Mummy Mountain and just look at all the beautiful bristlecone pine trees, um, forest up here, and then there, there are many bristlecone pines that, that have fallen and have made beautiful driftwood type designs. And, you know, this, this is a very small sampling. There are some uh, really beautiful going off in this direction toward Griffith Peak, um, toward that side of the, the far side of the summit. Uh, just beautiful um, 
uh, you know, patterns and, and sculptures of bristlecone pine trees that have fallen and, and, um, turned bronze and all kinds of different colors, um, in the sun. So, yeah, plan to spend a little time up here on Mummy Mountain and just look around. Okay. So, we're going to take a slight break up here and then, um, there's Charleston Peak there. Um, Griffith Peak over here. We're going to take a, just a short break, refuel, and then, um, see how fast we can head back down to the, the trailhead where we began, the North Loop Trailhead. I wish my car was at the Trail Canyon Trailhead. That's closer. But, you know, that's the way things worked out today. And maybe I'll find a couple um, sticks that I can use as, as poles as I'm going down the avalanche slope down the western side of Mummy Mountain. Uh, keep my balance. So, there you have it. Summit of Mummy Mountain. Always the most beautiful summit anywhere in the Spring Mountains. Um, Charleston Summit, yes. Um, it's, it's the highest. It's about 400 feet higher than Mummy Mountain Summit. Um, and I think I see people up on Charleston Peak even now. And everyone shoots for Charleston Peak because... Uh, the trails go right there, and they want to go to the highest point. Well, when you get up there, it's pretty barren. Um, there's there's no trees. Um, it's it's just like okay, I'm on top of Mount Charleston, um, but that's about it. Mummy Mountain, though, you are in sheer beauty. The whole time you're up here, you're only 400 feet lower in elevation, and the route is so much more interesting and challenging. So no, no trails on a lot of this route. Um, okay. Anyway, there you have it. Mummy Mountain Summit and getting ready to head down and, and I'll guide you down the western side so you can see how that descent works. Okay, here we go. Now, by the way, last week we summited Harris Mountain and then took the saddle over to Griffith Peak and get a different perspective where we were. Uh, we ascended this ridge up to the summit of Harris Mountain, took a right, Headed down the saddle to, you see those cliffs at the base of the saddle? We went along the far side, circled along the far side of those cliffs, and, um, and then headed up that ridge to the summit of Griffith Peak nine hours from the South Climb Trailhead. So that was a surprise that it took a, that much longer than we thought it was going to take. But, you know, there you have it. It's, it's just, um, you, sometimes you just can't gauge these wilderness um, adventures and, and the time it's going to take because you take a a different turn and and all of a sudden you you've got more um, obstacles in front of you you got more things to skirt um, you can see the beautiful cliffs um, along the west side of mummy mountain and and then looking straight down to la madre mountain there's that permanent snow filled devil slide uh, we stood on top of that a few weeks ago and then ascended to the top of um, of La Madre Mountain. And there's El Padre Mountain just to the right 
of La Madre Mountain. We haven't made that summit yet, but we will in uh, soon enough time. And then looking just to the left of La Madre Mountain, there you see the Las Vegas Strip. It's a little more clear right now. Um, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's, we're all over the place here, aren't we? Um, it's a little more clear um, due to the wind. Uh, wind is supposed to gust to 30 miles an hour today, um, which uh, may raise some dust, but on the other hand, it may blow away some um, haze and smog too. So uh, there you have it. The strip. Okay. Okay, let's refuel and then head down. Okay, when you have summited Mummy Mountain, the question is, how do you get back down? Because you got to hit, you got to nail that um, cliff just right in order to um, get down again. And um, so we're going to, I'll guide you to that western um, cliff. And um, you can see we're on kind of a path here. So we head down this path from the summit and okay. And notice this um, dead bristle cone. Kind of short. Anyway, head toward that bristle cone. And you see, when you've been wandering around on, on the summit of Mummy Mountain, um, it's easy to get disoriented and not know where the descent cliff is. So, um, past the bristle cone, you'll see a cairn. There's the cairn right there. That is the, um, that's the ledge that you head down. And it's the only way down the west side. Everything else is a cliff. So, anyway, here you are. And you're starting to head down. And this is what I call V-shaped canyon. And it looks like you're going to go off the edge of nothing. But, um, but you're really not. And you see a little trail right here. Just stay to the trail. And then, um, yeah, here you see the V-shaped canyon and actually makes a great frame for um, Charleston Peak. So um, I, I may just stop and take a picture right here. But um, yeah, you're going to head down this V-shaped canyon and then you're going to take a left and go along the base of the cliff. And and down and I'll show you when we get down there but um, heading down the, the canyon just stay with this little trail and hang to the um, right side as much as you can just lower yourself and you should have no problem getting down to the um, the bottom of this little canyon it looks a lot more imposing than it actually is and boy it's a lot nicer than what we just came up on the eastern side. So, okay, onward, and down we go. Okay, as you can see, we're heading down that V-shaped canyon, and just keeping our footing here. There is a, a kind of a trail. I don't always stay on this trail. I veer more to the right sometimes because, um, this well-worn pathway is pretty slick with loose rock. But, you know, here we go, and you can see we're heading down, and what I may do here, what I normally do is I angle to the right, and then 
just lower myself along the base of that um, cliff on the right and it's you know it's it's fairly tame even for a trail runner so um, we're not looking at heavy rock climbing but do take your time and watch every um, hold on the way down okay I will I may show more video on the way down maybe not uh, because I'm going to be using my hands <laughs> um, but there you have another shot of Mummy Mountain and look at this lonely bristle cone on the very edge wonder how that how that thing survives all the harsh winters and the snow but anyway okay down we go see what I mean I just hung to the um, left here and and you just lower yourself you got a very firm um, footing because you're on solid rock and um, the main trail is of course there but it's so loose I don't like to do that um, and so here we're on the final stretch um, down through the opening and then we're going to um, skirt the cliffs on a on a trail and I'll show you in just a minute there we are a look back up the opening I just came down as you can see you can hold on to the sides there's some pretty good footing all the way down nothing compared to the east side wow this is really nice that's why I'm coming down the west side and then here we are at the the bottom and then we're gonna skirt the, the cliff down here just hug this cliff on the left and there's actually a little trail so and then we're gonna end up down um, heading down that ridge and then down an avalanche slope and that'll be the, the most challenging part uh, then we hit the um, North Loop Trail again and and circle around the toe of Mummy Mountain and back to where we began and we'll be running at that point so okay here we go and just to get you around here to where you can see the trail here we are and now you have the trail so just um, hold to this trail uh, right at the base of the cliff here and that'll lead you around I'll show you when we get to a turning point but just stick with the trail and you're good on the way down okay see this little trail continues along the base of the mummy cliffs there's the mummy cliffs and so it's a lot easier going I'll show you the point at which we take a right turn down a little below here and head down a ridge um, to the top of the avalanche slope and then we go down an avalanche slope and and hit the north loop trail okay onward we've headed down this little trail at the base of these mummy cliffs and now we've reached a point where you see all these um, all this brush here somebody's trying to tell you take a right and so you're gonna take a right here and head down this way don't keep going straight down that way not good um, you can do it but boy um, then you end up into ledges and stuff this is the easiest way so we're gonna head down this way we're gonna keep to the um, just to the right of this little cliff here I'll show you in just a second
Okay, yeah, there's the little cliff. We just keep to the right of it. And then when we hit the bottom of this cliff, we take a sharp left and, um, and then we, um, I'll show you what happens after that. Um, uh, we want to end up on that ridge down there. And then that takes us down to the summit of the avalanche slope. But the first thing we need to do is, is get down to the bottom of this uh, cliff on the um, left. So here we go. Okay, here we are at the base of that um, little cliff area. As I mentioned, take it hard left and um, head down this way. And then you're gonna circle around to the right and head straight down a ridge. So let's go ahead and do that. I just wanna get you on to that ridge. Okay. Okay, and here we are. Now we are almost at that point where we circle around to the right. So here you go, and you can see the the trail a lot more visible in the when all the snow is melted. But now you're going to take this trail for a ways, and then at a certain point you're going to top this ridge and head down the ridge to the summit of the avalanche slope. So here we go. Okay, about this point, um, we head up this little ridge up to the summit of the ridge. So here we go. Up we go. And there you can see the familiar Harris Mountain Saddle Griffith Peak North Ridge of Kyle Canyon Charleston Peak Lee Peak and that ridge you see between here and Lee Peak is the wilderness area that I traverse in order to avoid um, going down and then coming back up when I'm so tired. But what you can see down there, um, you can see a trail down in the distance here. And that trail is the North Loop Trail. So what we need to do is we head along this ridge. We descend to the summit of the avalanche slope, take a left, descend down that avalanche slope, and um, connect with the North Loop Trail down there, and then it is a, a straight run all the rest of the way back. So we'll see if we make up some time. By the way, other um, here's another... Um, landmark that's come into view. This is Coxcomb Ridge down here. And I've got a page for Coxcomb Ridge on LasVegasAreaTrails.com. And then, yeah, looking straight down here, if you were parked, which I wish I was, at the Trail Canyon trailhead, you'd be right down in that parking lot down there. So, um, no, we're not, we're not heading there. We gotta go all the way around um, the toe of Mummy Mountain and then um, circle around a rain tree and continue on. So anyway, okay, down we go. 
And by the way, um, just to give you an idea of this ridge, we saw it from above. You just stay right on top of this ridge. You don't go to the right or the left or you fall off. Uh, but you'll see a way that appears and it's pretty much a little trail. It'll take you to the um, summit of the avalanche slope where we'll take a left and head straight down to the North Loop Trail. So in fact, you can even see a faint trail right there. You just keep on that trail. So down we go. Okay, so we find ourselves at the summit of the avalanche slope. And from here on down, it's pretty much pick your poison and um, all the routes are slick. So um, here, let's take a look. Um, yeah, there you can see, looking down this avalanche slope and you just pick your way down and it's gonna take about um, half hour, 45 minutes before you hit the North Loop Trail but just continue straight down and you will hit the North Loop Trail. And um, there's Griffith Peak and the area between Griffith Peak and Charleston Peak just to the left of Griffith Peak is a, is a good um, landmark to hold um, in order to make it down this trail. So um, I'm going to go over the edge of this little spot and um, I'm not going to, I don't know how much more I'm going to show you until um, we get down to the the trail. Maybe one more shot as we clear some of this upper area. Um, and then here's that ridge we just um, came down and descended from. And you look over in this direction and... Uh, if you look carefully, you can see the uh, V-shaped canyon that leads up to the summit of Mummy Mountain, uh, somewhere up there, <laughs> get you through the cliffs. But anyway, um, down we go. Um, it's getting a little cool, and you know, I want to, I want to be getting back to the car um, as soon as possible. So. I'm going to limit the video at this point and just uh, just know you head down the avalanche slope till you hit the North Loop Trail. Okay, onward. Okay, a quick trick trick for getting down the avalanche slope the best way possible is shoot for the deepest gravel and then just slide. Every footstep will come to a halt. Um, in that deep gravel and so find the paths that are the deepest gravel as you head down. That's about the best suggestion I can give on the way down this avalanche slope. Okay. So we made it. Um, back on the North Loop Trail, that avalanche slope strategy of sticking to the loose rock, deep loose rock, um, every step I took I slid maybe six inches, but came to a halt because the the rock was so deep. And there's the mummy tree, and you can see the M on that tree and pointing up and pointing up the avalanche slope. So about 45 minutes from the summit of mummy. Um, coming down was a lot quicker. So now, um, yeah, one downside of, of taking the, uh, the deep gravel is that you end up needing to take your shoes off and empty out all that gravel, but, um, definitely not a problem based, um, against the, um, alternative of, um, slipping and sliding and ending up on your back. A number of times and um, I didn't I didn't um, lose my footing once because I was on the deep gravel so 
Okay, now we begin our descent along the North Loop Trail and around Mummy Mountain and over to Rain Tree and then down to where we began. So we'll time that 45 minutes from the summit to here and let's just take a look at what we end up taking. Let's see, it's 315. We'll see how long it takes to get um, back to Rain Tree. Okay, onward. Okay, here we are at the junction um, between Trail Canyon Trail. Um, it goes down this direction. And North Loop Trail, which continues down this way and there you can see the um, signs <laughs> avalanche slope warnings there um, didn't see any um, avalanche shells fortunately um, and so what we're going to do is head around we're going to end up at the base of the of mummies toe up there that cliff and that's where we're gonna connect with rain tree and then it's downhill all the way probably a 45 minute run downhill I do have some hiking sticks that I was able to um, create from um, old aspen uh, branches and um, I've already broken one. <laughs> They're not like my other hiking sticks, but at least it gives me a little spring and a little stability. So, down we go and over to uh, the base of uh, the base of Mummy's Toe, and then it's a straight downhill to uh, the North Loop Trailhead. So, here we go. Well, here we are back at Rain Tree. And it took about two hours from the summit of Mummy to take this route back to Rain Tree. And I believe it's shorter than the other route. Um, there's uphill. And so, that will be a challenge after summoning five peaks and coming around this corner and another hour to the top of Fletcher Peak. So three hours from the summit of Mummy to the summit of Fletcher Peak. Uh, maybe four given how tired I will be at that point on the six peak day. But I'm thinking that, um, yeah, I'm going to um, circle around this way rather than try to go down that cliff um, on the eastern cliff of Mummy. Uh, just, uh, it just didn't work for me today. And I'd hate to reach a dead end and, and end up um, sliding over the edge of something when I'm so tired. So, yes, I'll do the trails and just, um, it's going to involve more uphill overall. But, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and return um, from the summit of Mummy to summit of Fletcher Peak on the North Loop Trail on the Six Peak Day. Okay. Now it's just a matter of heading down to the beginning of the North Loop Trail. I think I can do it about 45 minutes from now. Um, we'll see. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we are at that beautiful plateau again. And I'm going to take a quick refuel break before I run the rest of the way down. I uh, made some really good time. Been running down the uh, planet switchback. And now one more section, but just need one power bar um, before I continue. And by the way, um, now much more clear. 
is the strip, Las Vegas Strip down there. You can see part of it at least. There's the stratosphere. Showing up really well at this time of day is La Madre Mountain with the Devil's Slide. Didn't that look like a snow field? But actually, if you go on the La Madre Mountain North page, you'll see that it's beautiful, beautiful granite. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and run it in. Here we go. By the way, if you look down there beyond Las Vegas, you look carefully, you can actually see Lake Mead. So that's a pretty cool view down there. I don't know how it's coming through in the video, but um, I definitely see it from here. Okay. Onward. But here we are. Back at the trailhead after, oh, about 11, 11 and a half hours round trip. But what a, an awesome day. And here we have the beast is waiting for us. Here we are. Okay. Another beautiful trip up in the mountains. And now heading back home. <laughs>